I took this from The Vow by Nicholas Sparks. I didn't write it. <laughs> so if it's good, that's why. <laughs> You guys have already completed the hardest part, and that was to find each other in this universe and to fall in love. I'm here, and we're all here, because we want to hope with you, to support you, to be proud of you, and to remind you that love isn't happily ever after. Love is the experience of writing your story. It's not one moment. It's not even this moment. It's going to be every moment. Immediately, I could tell that Brian was a, a huge nerd, probably the biggest nerd that I've ever met in my life. I've never met a person that loved Marvel movies as much as him. That is until I met Riley. I realized this guy needed a lifetime partner, so fast forward a year, and I met this beautiful lady, Riley Smiley Hamblin, which for years, I thought her middle name was really Smiley. I remember Shayla coming home and saying, hey, I met this person that's extremely awesome, and um, maybe we should introduce her to Brian. I noticed she was unapologetically herself. I grew to love that about her and started my friendship with Riley. As that grew, I realized she was possibly the person for Brian. Riley got introduced to Brian, and I could quickly tell that they fell in love. Brian was no longer the biggest nerd in our house. Riley took over that title. I don't got to change the world, I just got to be myself. Oh my god. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Oh my god, you look so beautiful. Okay, Riley, well, I was around before you was born, and uh, uh, after all this time of waiting, I'm glad to see you finally get married before you had a baby, and uh, I know that'll make you happy to know that. I still remember the days when we rebuilt the uh, storm shelter when you was four years old, you know, and uh, that's about it. I get real sentimental anymore. Just remember that your grandmother and, and your and I always loved you with all my heart. <clears throat> I'm sorry I can't get, get messed up here. It's been a wonderful life. And I don't know what else. I'm glad to see you get married. And uh, I think it's going to be a great day. And just be a good girl all your life. Thank you for not only being the love of my life, but my best friend. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you accept me mostly for me. <laughs> As I do for you. Sorry about the fanny pack, I really couldn't resist. <laughs> when I was younger, I read Nicholas Sparks books so much that I kept thinking, how fun would it be to move to the Carolinas to find the love of my life? It was fate <laughs> that I met you. It was a dream that you wanted more to move to the Carolinas. I knew you were the one. 
Sweet baby. I knew. Now the sappy stuff, which it's already sappy. <laughs> I vow to help you love life, to always hold you with tenderness, and to have the patience that love demands. To speak when words are needed, and to share the silence when they're not. To agree to disagree about pineapple and pizza, and to live within the warmth of your heart, and to always call it home. I vow to love you in all your forms, now and forever. I promise to never forget that this is a once in a lifetime love. And I know in the deepest heart of my soul that no matter what challenges might carry us apart, we will always find our way back to each other. I took this from the vow by Nicholas Sparks. I didn't write it. <laughs> so if it's good, that's why. <laughs> I love you so much and I can't wait to marry you. You almost I, I honestly don't want to read mine. <laughs> I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. I promise to cherish you and respect you. Good. I promise to be your best friend, respect and support you, to be patient with you, <laughs> and work together to achieve our goals. These are things I give to you and all the days of our life. Do you want to repeat the patience part? The patience? Yeah. And patience. Okay. Keep patience. <laughs> And now by the power vested in me by the state of Missouri and a website that I Googled. <laughs> it is my honor and delight to pronounce you husband and wife. Brian, you may now kiss your bride. I'm so pleased to present the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Anger. <laughs> I'm right where I want to be. Don't believe a word you're told. Only you can save your soul. Come on, light it up and let it shine. Recently, we went on an elk trip in Colorado. Um, during that elk trip, you know, I determined that Brian wasn't the best at navigating. So what I'd like to do is, you know, give a toast and hopefully help Brian navigate his way uh, through his marriage. Um, and, you know, I say hunting loosely in Colorado because we spent more time lost than we actually did hunting. This is the holy twine. So now he can tie this on his truck handle, on his door, push it on his belt, and then when he gets lost, he can follow it back and find it. <laughs> me. 